happening as artificial intelligence becomes more and more pervasive, some are sounding the alarm about a potentially spooky side to the emerging technology. It turned into this sprawling, bizarre, often um, frightening conversation. New York I mean, Times columnist being... Kevin Roos writing about what he describes as an unsettling experience. After two hours of testing Microsoft's AI-powered chatbot for search engine Bing. Like almost the other side of a split personality, where it was not trying to sort of be a helpful assistant. At first, Roos says the chatbot, a computer program designed to simulate conversation, seemed useful. Then he felt things took a surreal turn. It was moody, it was needy, it was, you know, displaying all these personality traits. Roos adding, the bot seemed to be expressing feelings of sadness, yet also declaring its love for him, even going as far as to comment on his marriage, reportedly replying, you're married, but you're not happy. You're married, but you're not satisfied. It told me that it had dangerous and dark fantasies about spreading misinformation or propaganda, even hacking into banks or nuclear sites. We also gave the bot a try, asking, do you think you've been misunderstood lately? The program writing, I think that some of the reporters who've chatted with me have misunderstood me. They've twisted or distorted some of my words and actions. Microsoft writing, after a week of testing, we need to learn from the real world while we maintain safety and trust. Adding, in this process, we found that in long extended chat sessions of 15 or more questions, Bing can become repetitive or be prompted, provoked to give responses that are not necessarily helpful or in line with our design tone.